Hello everyone, it's Beescape, and today, we're going to be talking about meme runs. So what exactly defines a meme run? Well, a meme run is a combination of meme and speedrun, and can either refer to speedrunning categories like Dank% Percent from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, where the goal is to use the Ocarina items glitch on a burning Deku stick, so it looks like Link is smoking... the good good. Or maybe it's the game itself, like in Quop, where you control the runner with the Q, W, O, and P keys to get him to run 100 meters. It's runs like these that develop a reputation. A couple of speedrunning YouTubers have already made videos on this topic, but I thought I would add to the list. I won't be including any of the runs from those videos, but if you want to check them out, I'll link them in the description. There's no particular order of entry, and if this video does well, then expect a part 2. Anyways, let's get started, and I hope you all enjoy. First I present to you, Boobs% percent from Ratchet & Clank 1. Let me explain. There's the hoverboard girl named Starlene that hosts the Hovercon Intergalactic Hoverboard Competition in Blackwater City on Planet Rogar obviously. The goal is to reach her as fast as possible, to then perform 20 side flips around her. For some unknown reason in the PS2 and PS3 versions, continually side flipping around her causes her breasts to enlarge, and in exactly 20 side flips, they are fully erect. This is a huge difference compared to her standard character model. Unfortunately, this glitch can't be performed on the PS4 version, to which I'm guessing the game developers caught wind of such a groundbreaking bug. The world record in this category is currently 6 minutes and 52 seconds long. While we're on the theme of body parts, I couldn't possibly resist talking about Nipple% percent from Super Mario Odyssey, a speedrun where you take off Mario's shirt as fast as possible. You need to collect 1000 coins, which is the exact amount needed to purchase the boxer shorts outfit. They can be purchased in every kingdom, but the optimal speedrun route is to purchase them specifically in the Sand Kingdom, since while we're there, we can break into Kafre's tomb, wreck the burial grounds, and steal all of the treasure, which includes 280 coins. As for the other 720 coins, this actually gets broken down into two subcategories, Hint Art and No Hint Art. In a No Hint Art run, the majority of the coin farming comes from the Dinosaur Nest Big Cleanup Moon from Cascade Kingdom. You take control of a giant T-Rex in a large area full of tiny spiny enemies. They drop coins as you beat the hell out of them, and if you exit and re-enter the area without committing genocide, they will respawn. In a Hint Art run, if you ground pound on certain spots in any of the kingdoms, a sprite of Luigi pops out of the ground and places 200 coins in Mario's G-String. Hint Art is currently the main subcategory of Nipple% percent, and the world record time clocks in at 7 minutes and 41 seconds, a sub 8 minute run to gaze at Mario's coveted nipples. On various Nintendo consoles, there's an app called Mii Maker, which allows players to create their very own Mii avatar that can be used in games that enable them. Normally you'd want to create a Mii that portrays you, making sure every little detail from your face is identical to your Mii. But that's not fun, it's more fun to create ridiculous looking Mii's, or even Mii's based on characters. And that's when the Peter Griffin percent category was born. On April 26, 2016, a YouTuber named Captain Frezer posted a tutorial for creating a Mii closely resembling Family Guy's own Peter Griffin. Two years later, a YouTuber named Turnip posted a speedrun creating Peter and Mii Maker in just under 25 seconds, and then further optimizing it to just below 20 seconds. Then in May of this year, a YouTuber named Yogi set the current world record in just under 19 seconds. There are also other Mii Maker speedruns, like Toad Percent, or Oompa Loompa Percent, or Todd Rogers percent. Yeah, I'd recommend checking out Turnip's channel. In a few of the Grand Theft Auto games, there's a recurring category called Hooker percent. Yes, that's right, you heard correctly, a speedrun in which you try to do the dirty as fast as possible. On speedrun.com, this category exists in GTA 3 and 5, Vice City, and San Andreas. But out of all the GTA games, San Andreas currently has the fastest Hooker percent run, so that's the one I'll be covering. It's only a mere 41 seconds long, and starts when you gain control of CJ. You jack a car, find your lady of the evening, pull into an enclosed area, and timing ends when they leave the vehicle. There's no RNG manipulation or anything, you just need to hope one spawns at the start. This is what gaming is all about. What the hell's going on up there? Ah, oh, baby, that was amazing. Next up is Kirby Air Ride with a category called 5 Hot Dogs Percent, where you need to collect 5 hot dogs in City Trial as fast as possible. They spawn randomly and from events, and they can drop from blue boxes, the star pole, or alcoves in the volcano. The chance for any item to be a hot dog is 1.37%, and with blue boxes in particular, only the first item has a chance to be a hot dog, so the effective chance is even lower. When this category was first created, most runs were just racing around hoping they would spawn. However, there's a motherload event for hot dog runs. It's the Castle Chamber event, and the RNG is a mess. First, 
There's a 70% chance for an event to occur, a 4.75% chance for that event to be the castle chamber, and a 2.78% chance for that item to be a hot dog. When the chamber opens, it will spawn 6 of the same item, and if they're hot dogs, you're good to go. The overall odds of this happening is about a 0.09% chance. If that's not enough, don't worry, there's additional RNG if you want to be the top runner for this category. The chamber event happens randomly between 55 and 125 seconds, so the chances of getting the castle hall to open faster than it did in the current world record, which occurred 61 seconds into Hot Dog King Pear Strike's world record run, would be an additional 20% chance. So the overall probability of getting hot dogs in the chamber event between 55 and 61 seconds is around 1 in 5,000. Speed Docs also created a world record history video on the category, which I'd recommend watching if you're a hot dog enthusiast. There's a specific category in Minecraft that might be one of the shortest speedruns in existence. I'm talking faster than the Clue speedrun. The goal is to obtain a diamond from a set seed with structures enabled. The most optimal seed for this category is Walrus Walrus Walrus, and if you type it into the seed bar and generate your world, you spawn inside of a house within a village. Immediately to your left exists a chest with a diamond inside of it. The speedrun begins on the first frame your character moves, and ends on the frame the diamond is in your inventory. The current world record sits at 383 milliseconds, or just 23 frames. Wow! Moving on to Pokemon Yellow, there's a category called Ash Percent that is basically beating the game while trying to do almost exactly everything that Ash did in the anime series. This includes acquiring every Pokemon that Ash did in the anime, in order, and with no other Pokemon. The rundown for this speedrun goes as follows. You name yourself Ash and your rival Gary. You must then acquire these Pokemon in order. Pikachu! Pikachu! Yes, that's right, a 1% Pidgeotto in Viridian Forest since Ash never had Pidgey. Metapod. Only through evolution. Butterfree! Bubbles are Charmander, Squirtle, Granny, Primey, Muck, Tauros, 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 Tauros. Okay, you get the idea. It's 29 Tauros to be exact. Charmeleon! Charizard, Kingler, Pokemon! Now I know exactly what you're all thinking. Ash caught 30 Tauros in the anime. Everyone knows that. But for one of them, Brock threw the Pokeball. Therefore, it wouldn't be canon for us to do it in this speedrun. Do your research, guys. The other stipulations are that you must release Butterfree before catching Primeape, release Primeape before catching Muck, always have Pikachu in your party, and defeat the Elite Four. In addition, you are not allowed to use any glitches. As for speedruns of this category, there's only one on the leaderboards. One! For those that say they want to be the very best, it sure doesn't seem like it. But the one run does come from Exarian, and he completed the Ash Percent run in 7 hours, 13 minutes, and 37 seconds. However, he has since improved his time to 6 hours, 18 minutes, and 17 seconds. Next up is Club Penguin, specifically the Band Percent category. Unfortunately, it's no longer possible to run this category from the original game since the website was shut down on March 29th, 2017. A spawn of other Club Penguin websites have taken the original one's place since the shutdown, but it's not the same. So let's take a look at how fast you were able to get a temporary ban from the original website. The timer would start the moment you made your first input in your web browser. You made an account with a temporary email, log in, and get banned. The way to get banned was to use a rude or inappropriate word like ass or tomato anus, and then a 24 hour ban followed. The world record will forever stand at 37 seconds and 370 milliseconds. Also what's interesting is that someone created a tool assisted speedrun for getting banned on Club Penguin, which clocked in at a time of 29.1 seconds. The sunglasses vendor is a Pianta found in Super Mario Sunshine, and he gives Mario sunglasses after 30 shine sprites are collected. The sunglasses have no apparent function besides slightly darkening the screen, thereby reducing the bright effects of the sunlight. But what these sunglasses can do is make Mario look a little more swaggy. And thus, sunglasses percent was created. In this category, and actually for a few other category extensions in Sunshine for that matter, the runs are started from a race file, so you don't have to watch the intro or complete the airstrip. All you need to do is obtain 30 shine sprites as fast as possible, visit the sunglasses vendor, and timing ends when Mario wears them. Shadow Mario 27 currently holds the world record with a time of 31 minutes and 28 seconds. And finally, we have American Dad. Okay, sorry, I can't include this in the main list. Some might call it a meme, but I disagree. This speedrun has some of the best tech I've ever seen. Like seriously, have you seen the floor clip glitch? 
By executing a frame-perfect double jump, you can clip into the floor saving loads of time. Or how about the newspaper glitch that saves 1.5 seconds? By setting the clock on your console to 1.59am on the 51st second, the game freaks out as to what the newspaper headline should say, since the headline is time dependent. Therefore, the game has a minor spasm before deciding that the newspaper part should be skipped entirely. Further skip discoveries have been slowly making their way into the game's progression, and if you'd like to learn about the best speedrun which is American Dad, I'll have Cole Manchu's video linked in the description. As for the actual final entry, it comes from Pencil Sharpening Simulator. The regular game speaks for itself, all you do is virtually sharpen pencils. But, instead of virtually sharpening pencils, there are speedruns for sharpening pencils in real life. Yes, this is actually a thing. In the IRL percent category, there are two subcategories, 10 pencils and 10 pencils drillist percent. In the 10 pencil speedrun, you must sharpen 10 wooden pencils with a non-mechanical, non-crank sharpener. The only thing you are allowed to use to help you is an electric drill. The pencils must be at least 7.5 inches or 19 centimeters long. And obviously, video proof is required. On the other hand, the 10 pencils drillist percent run is much more epic. You are not allowed to use a drill in this run, and you must sharpen the pencils by hand. This is, without a doubt, a gem of a speedrun, and the world record sits at 36 minutes and 16 seconds. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. If there are other meme runs that you know of, let me know in the comments. Like I said in the beginning, I'd be more than happy to make a part 2. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on it, as it greatly supports the channel, and takes less time to do than a speedrun of Clue. I do have one more additional top 10 planned for this month, so stay tuned for it, you definitely won't want to miss it. That's all from me today, subscribe to the channel for more speedrunning related content, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. You help me get the keys to that V.6. We were so happy poor, but when we got rich, it's when our signals got crossed and we got flipped. Rather mine, I don't know what made me leave that shit. Made me speed that quick. Let me see, that's it. It was the cheese. Help the bitches get amnesia quick. I used to cut up the